Are you curious about the best ways to utilize Sun's clones for both offense and defense? Do you want to learn how to use his skills effectively and efficiently? Welcome to 1UP Gaming Hero Tutorial Tips and Tricks, and this episode we will explore Sun's unique skills and abilities, combos that can help you outmaneuver and outplay your opponents, the best item builds and emblems for Sun, and essential tips and tricks to master this versatile hero. I encourage you to watch this video till the end because, by the end of this tutorial, you'll have the skills to master Sun and dominate your matches. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Passive. Simeon God. Enemies hit by Sun and his clones will have their physical defense reduced by 4%, stacking up to 10 times for a total of 40% physical defense reduction. This makes his passive skill a valuable support tool, allowing your teammates to deal more damage to enemies. Additionally, Sun recovers HP equal to 50% of the clone's physical attack each time a clone deals damage. The higher your attack power, the greater the HP recovery. Skill 1. Endless Variety Sun hurls his golden staff in the target direction, dealing physical damage to enemies in its path. Upon hitting an enemy hero or creep or reaching the maximum range, the golden staff morphs into a clone that lasts for 5 seconds. Skill 2. Swift Exchange Sun hurls his golden staff in the target direction, moves with his weapon, and deals physical damage to enemies in its path. He conjures a clone at his location that also lasts for 5 seconds. Keep in mind that the clones inherit 40% of Sun's attributes and a portion of Sun's item effects. <laughs> Endless variety and swift exchange are learned and upgraded together, sharing the same cooldown, so be mindful of which skill you use. Skill 3. Instantaneous Move. Sun commands his clones to strike at the target enemy with him, dealing physical damage to the target and enemies behind them. This counts as basic attack damage, can trigger item effects, but cannot activate critical damage. Ultimate Skill Clone Techniques Sun summons a clone that lasts 12 seconds and inherits 70% of the 100% of his attributes, depending on the skill level. This skill will help you melt down enemies in seconds. Now that you understand his skills and abilities, how do you feel about his potential in the game? Is he a top tier pick, or does he need adjustments? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. There are three combos for Sun that I found useful. This first combo is the basic combo for Sun, ideal for both 1 vs 1 situations and team fights. This is how to initiate the combo. First, use your ultimate skill and blink towards your opponent. Cast your third skill and wait for your target to melt down. Simple as that. You can also use your Ice Retribution to slow down your target or Petrify to prevent your target from escaping. Double kill. Yeah. Ally, 
This next combo is ideal for tower dives. The main objective of this combo is not to kill the enemy, but to deal a significant amount of damage while they are defending their turret. This is how to initiate the combo. First, activate your ultimate skill. Use your third skill on your desired target. Immediately cast your second skill back towards the safe zone. This next combo is ideal to use for pushing. To initiate the combo, simply cast your second skill just before the turret hits you. This way, you will cancel the first damage and draw the turret's attention towards your clone. From the gameplay, it's evident that Sun's strengths lie in versatility with his clones, confusing enemies, consistent damage output and reduction of enemy defenses, excellent capability to push lanes, ability to sustain in fights thanks to his passive skill. In my opinion, Sun's unique playstyle makes him a valuable asset in split pushing and team fights, especially when disrupting enemy formations and strategies. If you found this tutorial helpful and want to see more, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest Mobile Legends guides. These are the item build I recommend for Sun. For the foot gear, I highly recommend the Swift Boots for additional attack speed, Corrosion Scythe and Demon Hunter Sword for additional damage on top of the attack speed, War Axe to augment your damage further and to give you cooldown reduction. Queen's Wings for additional sustainability and durability. Alternatively, you can equip him with Thunderbelt for additional defense and inflict movement slow to your target. Then finally, Immortality to increase your survivability. Keep in mind that these item build I showed you are not absolute and will always vary depending on the situation, update, and your playstyle. For the emblem, I highly recommend the Assassin Emblem combined with Agility Talent for additional movement speed bargain hunter to help you build your core items faster, and weakness finder talent to inflict movement slow on your opponent. For the spell, I highly recommend the ice retribution to inflict movement slow on your target, or petrify to prevent your target from escaping if you are playing sun as experience laner. Now here are my tips on how to use sun properly. Pick sun wisely. Although sun is a very powerful hero, he is also weak against certain heroes. For example, he is quite weak against Martis since Martis' ultimate skill can also work on Sun's clones. Sun is also weak against heroes with large area of effect abilities such as Silvana and Odette. Split pushing for the win. Take advantage of Sun's amazing capability to push lanes. In fact, Sun can destroy a second-tier tower without minions. So, 
Whenever you see the enemies busy on other lanes, consider split pushing for the win. Ultimate skill on creeps. Always remember that Sun relies on his core items before he becomes powerful. So, never hesitate to use your ultimate skill on jungle creeps to rotate to your jungle spots faster and obtain your core items faster. That wraps up our guide on Sun, the Monkey King of Mobile Legends. With practice and understanding, you can truly master the art of clones and dominate your matches. Please, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more in-depth Mobile Legends tutorials. Your support drives us to produce more high-quality content in the future. Thank you for watching, and always remember, you are amazing. This is 1UP Gaming, signing off until the next tutorial.